We teach web development from beginning to end at App Academy. Specifically, we teach the students uh, Ruby, JavaScript, uh, Ruby on Rails, and a front-end framework called React, which is used for uh, rendering visual interfaces, and Flux, which is a pattern for managing front-end state. The, the way that we teach it is we start with the underlying frameworks, so like really understanding first the programming language that you're working in, understanding the way a back-end works, front-end works, CSS, design, uh, all of those things going all the way up the stack until eventually by the end of the program, students are building their own fully-fledged applications. We started App Academy because we believe deeply in the idea of immersive education, but we wanted to make the program accessible to anybody. So we came up with this tuition model where students only have to pay us if they find a job as a software engineer after the course. The tuition model not only makes the course accessible to all students, but reflects the confidence that we have in the program and the investment that we're making in each student. App Academy was really helpful in providing me with the structure and guidance to go from writing small programs to being able to tackle larger projects by myself. Yeah, I really enjoyed a recent project that we just did, which was a full stack project, uh, taking us from all the technologies in the back end, including the front end, and we were basically required to uh, build the entire website independently. And every single day, uh, it's not just about theory, it's not just about you know understanding high-level concepts. It's about actually producing the stuff that you're gonna go out there into industry and build yourself. And we think that experiential learning is kind of the hallmark of how you get somebody from knowing very little to suddenly becoming good enough to, to do it professionally. It's like the coding monastery, right? That you come in and you live, breathe, and eat code for those 12 weeks. And yes, when you come out, you're gonna be amazing, but it takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of sweat getting there. We're always, you know, adapting our curriculum and uh, you know readjusting to this moving target which is like the, the cutting edge of what the tech industry is demanding. Part of being an engineer is not just being able to solve the problem yourself but learning to work effectively in a team and reach sort of uh, you know collective solutions. So I do pairing at my job right now and so the pairing that we do day-to-day -day in App Academy was such a great foundation for what it's going to be like to actually work on the job. Going through the boot camp provided me with an enormous network. Just my cohort alone is 40 students who are now working at top companies in the Bay Area. And I now have a stronger professional network than most of my peers who have been working in the industry. We now have over a thousand alumni working at the best companies in New York City and Silicon Valley. And our students have access to those alumni. They can ask them questions, get mentorship. The alumni network really is the secret sauce of Apple. It could be anything from web development to like project management. So. They can give a lot of insight into how, what it's like after Africa. The post-course curriculum also provided me with a lot of assistance during my job search, um, so much so that I was able to get my first job offer within a week of starting my job search, and I ended the search at three weeks in with six offers. Since I've been here, I, I've taught you know, I think almost 600 students, and uh, seeing you know the vast majority of those go on to get jobs, which you know really improve their lives, uh, makes me feel so proud of what I'm doing. And, like I'm really making a, a difference in the in the world. So, you know. It's hard, but at the end of it, for most of them, I think it's worth it. Um, but I think if you're, if you're thinking about taking this leap, be prepared to struggle a little bit, because that's kind of what it takes.